Hello there and welcome back to Spacelab. In this tutorial we're going to go through the parameters of Spacelab's Object Rendering tab. This video is part of a larger ongoing series about Spacelab and 3D audio production, so if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest news, tips, and tricks. The first parameter is called Individual Earlies. Its value is displayed as a percentage and determines how many of the early reflections of each object are calculated depending on the object's position. By default, this is set to 100% and when moving objects around your virtual room, you can hear the changing early reflection patterns. Now, if we set this to 0%, you'll notice that no change occurs when moving the objects. The next parameter is Direction Focus. It's important to mention here that the Diffuse Earlies button on the Room Character tab has to be switched off if you plan to use Direction Focus because these two things work in opposite directions. Diffuse Earlies enhances spatial distribution of the early reflections, while Direction Focus emphasizes early reflections in the direction of the objects, thereby reducing their spatial distribution. Please have a look at our Reverb Parameters tutorial for more details about Diffuse Earlies. There's a link in the description. Positive values of Direction Focus emphasize each object's early reflections in its direction, while negative values emphasize early reflections in the opposite direction. Distance Gain Dry simulates the real-life decrease of volume of an object depending on its distance to the listener. The decreasing of an object's volume starts at 1 meter, and each doubling of the distance reduces the volume by the value shown under the knob. For example, if Distance Gain Dry is set to negative 6 dB, the object's volume is reduced by 6 dB at 2 meters, 12 dB at 4 meters, 18 dB at 8 meters, and so on. Just like the Distance Gain Dry parameter, the Distance Gain Wet knob lets you set how much of the volume of the reverb is increased or decreased with the object's distance from the listener. Note that unlike the Distance Gain Dry knob, the Distance Gain Wet knob is an entirely artistic parameter with no reference to physical reality.
Some objects are supposed to fly through the listener's position as a special effect. The perceived direction would suddenly jump to the opposite side the moment the object passes through the listener. To avoid that sudden jump and to make the fly through as smooth as possible, the distance spread radius knob sets a radius in meters below which the spread of the object increases to 100% when the object closes in on the listener. This increase to 100% happens smoothly. Distance spread curve sets the curve by which the spread is increased when getting closer to the listener, with 0 dB representing a linear increase. Setting negative values here means the increase of the spread is changing significantly faster when entering the distance spread radius. Setting positive values means that the increase of the spread is only audible when very close to the listener. Distance delay is an option for delaying the dry sound of your objects depending on their distance to the listener, just like in real life. The further away a sound source is from you, the more time its sound is going to need to travel in order for that sound to reach you. By default, this option is switched off to keep your objects in sync with the rest of your project, especially in music. You can switch this on when, for example, you need a Doppler effect for moving objects. It might be worth noting here that the distance delay option does not change the temporal relation between the dry and wet signal. This relation is applied according to their physical relationships in space. In other words, you may not hear much of a difference switching back and forth, but if you have objects with different distances to the listener, the effect will be much more pronounced. Anyway, that's it for this section. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of any updates. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.